everyone welcome to my youtube channel so as you guys can see in the title i'm going to do a get to know me q a so i wrote down everything in this piece of paper so i'm going to be answering hold on my lips is so dry i don't know every time i get in the camera my lips is always dry let me get me the fika shiny beauty lip gloss okay let me put it on okay so yeah uh Hold up, let me put on my lip gloss because my lips is so dry. And don't mind this one. I was eating something. Hold on, let me put on my lip gloss. Yeah. Let's put this lip gloss on. You see how bright it is and I look pretty and everything. So period. So yeah, so like I said. I write down everything so i'm about to be asking like i write down all of the questions that i think you would might want to know about me but like i said don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you want to know more about me just comment down below ask me like some question and i'll do it i'll be doing a video where i'm going to be answering all of your questions but these are the questions that i have and i'm gonna be like answering them the first one is where do i live i live in boston okay my sister said second one what is my favorite thing to do um uh, my favorite thing to do like when i like let's say if i'm right now i'm not doing nothing i just put on my airport and just listen to some tiktok music and just started dancing um i'll be watching k drama if you are a k drama baby just you know we are late over there because the k drama like the 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 show are always lit i love watching like the freaking show it's always like uh they always fire they always come with the good okay so yes what is my biggest fear so my biggest fear is to not die without like um you know i'm a christian okay i don't want to die in a place where like i'm like I sin or I just wanna die ready. I just wanna die in my bed where I, where I'm done praying and I just I know it's the hardest thing to talk about die anyways but not now I don't know when God is the only one who knows I just don't wanna die in a bad position. I always wanna I always wanna die in my bed where I where I'm done praying ask for all of my forgiveness and I went to you know clean okay okay are you Haitian yes I'm Haitian I know I did a video where I was like I just wanted to let you know guys know my nationality so I'm Haitian I so yeah I'm Haitian and then um at what age did I come to the United States I came when I was like um 15 years old I came here in 2015 and I was 15 years old when I first came to this country let me tell you guys something it was so freaking hard because I didn't like it at first I really wanted to I wanted to see you know I felt like I wasn't it like it was everything was different like every freaking thing was different it, 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 oh my God. everything was brand new and I, I didn't really know like how to I, I didn't really know like how to you know but yes it was really scary because I had to learn the language I had to go to school like I had to make new I didn't even make a lot of friends because it was too much and I'm going to do a story time about when I first came here, how it was hard for me, how I used to get bullied, everything, and it was so hard for me to learn the, to learn the language. It wasn't really hard because I started learning the language in my country. Because in Haiti, they do like other language. Like when you're in school, you're gonna learn French, like French, English, Spanish. Like so, yes, I started learning the language, and I, I think that, and and I think to my dad used to like put me in the English school too. Like I had to go to school on Saturday just to learn the language, cause I know I was gonna. My dad knew that I was gonna be able to come here and stuff, so he had to pay extra money too, so I can learn the language faster. But guess what? I dropped out of that school <laughs> because it wasn't because it was hard. It was like I was um. I was um it, it wasn't hard it's just that it was too much going on and i couldn't you know it was too hard for me and when i came here you know it took me like six like i think it took me like three months to understand when people talk to me for me to talk but you know it took me like six months i didn't even really know what i was saying because i had to i was trying 
still today my english is not really 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 duper duper super duper, duper duper good but i can speak with you if you speak to me but some words that i'll be like what what do you mean what does that mean i don't understand can you like i don't know can you explain it like I, i'm confused speak speak up speak up. okay pretty uh, how many languages so, do I yes speak? i speak two languages i speak haitian creole french and english the reason why i speak french let me tell y'all something people be getting confused it's not everybody that haitian who speak french let me tell y'all why because not everybody that attended school attend a school that teach them french because like when you when someone say they speak french i don't i forgot about my french though because it's been so long since i speak french so i'm doing some practice you know because i need i understand what people speak so the reason why i know how to speak french it's because that I was in a Catholic school. So when you're in a Catholic school, you have to speak French. They're gonna make you. Let me tell you guys something. I wanna give you all a story time too on how hard like it is to be in it. Like when you're in Haiti, like how the school, how, how it's, how is it, how, how do you say that? How is it to be in, in school in Haiti? It's so tough. So I was in a Catholic school. They had to choose to speak the language. It, it's like I don't. I don't consider it as a force it's just that their school have to be the top that's how it is and they have to have you need to have the freaking best education they have to make sure you have the best education because they're always in a competition with other school which is it used to be fun though P -p period so, but yeah now nah, seriously i used to be popular in my school i used to be popular in my school because i was all that because you know i had a good grade i was always you know on the cousin she used to be like the first and then my other friend used to, like i used to be the third one all the time the third i'll be the third that's good okay because i used to be you know sometimes i wouldn't be focusing class i'll be playing around but still but i'm gonna i don't okay let me tell y'all about let me tell y'all a little bit a little bit a tiny bit about like how it is to be in like how school how school is in haiti so when you're in a Catholic school, you're gonna have to speak French, baby. Whether you like it or not, boo, they're gonna have to make you speak it. You have to speak it. You don't speak it, you're gonna give five dollar. You speak it, that's good. It's better. If they none catch you outside speaking Haitian Creole, boo, boo, you're gonna get, you're gonna get that, um, like this. Like, how do you say that thing? They give you every each class have something. It doesn't matter if it's a pencil or anything. They made something. If that thing, let's say if you have that pencil, if they, if they catch you speaking Haitian Creole, you only have the way to speak Haitian Creole in your household, outside of the school, when the school, even when the school is done, even if the school is done, somebody catch you speaking Haitian Creole, they give you that thing. They're like, that's how they call it. It's something, it's like kind of like a simple type of thing that they give to you. If that thing slip on your hand, you're going to have to give $5. So you don't have to. You had to try your best to speak French, even if you don't know how to speak it. They teach you how to speak it. You have to speak it in the school. They do not allow nobody to speak another language other than French. It used to be so hard because I couldn't speak Haitian Creole, and I was learning it because I was a kid and stuff. But when I started growing up, you know, I started speaking. But yeah, but I forgot my French, and you know, it's bad that I forgot it. But it used to be fun too. So yeah, okay. The other one is um okay am i in college yes i just took this semester off i don't know what they're doing to me but yes i'm in college and i can't wait to be done do i have a boyfriend do i have a boyfriend okay so that's okay thank you for watching the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe i'll see you guys in another video bye